Welcome, people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and my family and I make our living buying and selling things that we find in thrift stores, garage sales, flea markets, yard, whatever. Anywhere we can find it, we sell it on eBay. That's how we make our living. And we're going to go over our best five finds this week. Let's get into it. So this week is full of a lot of unusual items. Uh, we were sort of all over the place. We did a big uh, thrift trip uh, at the last weekend, so we have a lot of stuff. Uh, so it's kind of hard to pick, but I think we got it down to uh, the best stuff. So let's go ahead and start at number five, and that's right here with this Mac Tools Racing Swingster Jacket. Vintage Swingster, made in USA. Mac Tools, love the color blocking, love the checkered stripes. Uh, Mac Tools, obviously, is a, a, a tool company, expensive, high quality tools. Um, and anytime you can get the combination of like uh, an, a, a well-known brand and racing, it's going to do okay. So I think this jacket probably should go between $50 and $75. We are getting into jacket season, so everyone needs to be paying attention to jackets coming out in their thrift stores because that's where the money is going to be. Now at number four, we have this next one right here. I don't, this is, this might be the only time I've ever purchased Abercrombie & Fitch ever. I'm not, this is not vintage, but it's Abercrombie & Fitch. It's the Kemp Shawl jacket, extra large. It's this mili like military style down jacket, big puffer coat. It was eight bucks and it's super dope looking. Like I, I could potentially keep it for myself. Like again, I don't normally buy Abercrombie, but this is a super dope piece. High quality construction down jacket. It's probably super warm. Um, I actually would expect with this type of jacket to get uh, up like 75 plus. Um, I've done well with some Abercrombie stuff, uh, some of their winter, older, uh, their winter stuff. So I think we would do pretty well with that jacket. Uh, I don't have any specific research on that, but you know, based on my history, I expect this to go pretty high if it actually makes it to, you know, uh, if it actually makes it to eBay and doesn't just stay in my closet. Uh, now for number three, we have uh, this guy right here. Where'd he go? Oh, yes, right here. Uh, this is another thing you need to buy all the time when you're out in the thrift store and you find it specially sealed. And that's Legos. I picked this up for $2, $2. This is a sealed Ninjago set. Let's see, uh, Fire Fang, you got the code here, the, the serial number here for the set, set number 70674. Um, I looked this up. This is going like in the realm of like sixty to eighty dollars. I think is what most of them are listed for. That's sort of what happened. Like when Lego retires a set, that set's not going to be made again. So these things become a, have you know a premium for sealed sets. So people trying to collect or trying to buy old stuff that uh, they need parts for, this is where to go. Uh, finding it on eBay. So this is a great buy for two dollars. I'm going to make a lot of profit on this. Um, Lego, actually, um, I saw a statistic uh, not too long ago, but Lego actually, uh, the value of Lego actually increases faster than the value of gold over like, the last 40 years. So Lego is really worth its weight in gold. Now at number two, you would have expected this potentially to be at number one, but it's not. And that's unusual for me because I have something really cool for number one. And that's these guys right here. This is Gianni Versace boots, like pretty incredible boots, like in fantastic condition. Uh, it's got the little, uh, you know, what Medusa face or whatever her, the face is on the eyelets right here. They're incredible condition. Um, they look, as far as I can tell, legit. Uh, faking boots, particularly high quality boots like this with the leather and stuff is typically pretty hard to do. So you don't tend to see as many fakes of shoes um, you do see fakes of some types of shoes like Yeezys and sports stuff, but stuff like this that requires lots of in intricate leather stitching and high quality uh, soles and stuff like that can be quite a bit more expensive. Uh, so I do not in sense these to be fake or uh, uh, any sort of fraud, but amazing boots right here. Got them for $6. I expect these actually to sell um, somewhere between $175 and $250. Uh, for these particular Gianni Versace 
boots. All right, now before we get to number one, if you would be so kind as to like this video, comment which of these five items is your favorite, and uh, subscribe to us for more vintage and thrift content like this. All right, now that for number one, we need the lights off, but not for long. Ha <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? This is today's number one thrifted item, and that's this guy right here. While technically not thrifted, I did buy this from a flea market. This is a vintage uh, from 1986-87 era, Levi's 501 neon light, true neon light. This was a store display, and boy am I happy to have it. It is now going to be part of the set as soon as we sort of revamp the set around here, and this will be part of it. I'm super thrilled to have this particular piece as part of, <laughs> that's hilarious, as part of our collection. <laughs> you can't see my face. But I'm so thrilled. It was so much fun to find this. Worked my way into negotiations, and we got it, so 501. All right, everyone, that was the top five. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs up. Otherwise, comment below which one of these five is your favorite. I think I know who will win. Uh, and subscribe for more content like this. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.